got the key. Let's And then go inside. This is video three of the inside of the house. So the lights should be okay. Oh, there is the lights. There are the lights. Okay, coming walking into the house. Uh, they requested to take shoes off because it's brand new carpet. So take the shoes off. Um, and as I said, it is very nice, brand new carpet. The entranceway right here. It's uh, vinyl. Uh, laminate, I mean, a vinyl laminate, and as you walk in, there's a small coat closet, fresh carpet, and everything looks like it's freshly painted um, on the house. Coming, looking back at the entrance, basically, this is the door coming in, so windows by the door. When you come in, you will come into this uh, vaulted ceiling living room, open to the kitchen. And it's a pretty big kitchen with uh, basic countertops but nice cabinets and uh, good cabinets and a lazy Susan on the side as well. It looks like, let me see. It looks like maybe these cabinets have been painted. No, actually not. Uh, they just need some cleaning on the inside, but cabinets themselves uh, look in pretty good shape. Uh, this is the stove and the microwave, which are required if you are doing financing, which you're not. There's a dishwasher and the sink. Um, under the sink, there's no signs of any moisture. Everything looks pretty clean. Um, probably kept some detergents and stuff down here. That's the size of that, but uh, everything else looks pretty good on the sink. Let's turn on the... Actually, yeah, there is water. I don't know if the water was cut off, but... Um, yeah, everything looks good. And I know this thing is pretty clean. No signs of moisture there. Um, looking back again from the kitchen to the front door, the living room area, there's a room. There's a room to either side coming to what would be the right side of the front door. Is this room with its own full bathroom. And again, all the carpets. The, all the rooms look brand new, fresh paint. Everything looks very, very clean. Bathrooms are very clean. Even inside the top, very clean. Um, nice hard rack. Looks like it. That's different than the color of that. So uh, maybe they upgraded the shower head. And this color. So this bathroom might need a little bit of work just to match all the hardware because that's gold, that's silver, that's brushed nickel. And that looks like it's a different color. But uh, yeah, the colors don't match, but everything is very, very clean and no signs of damage. Let's look up under the sink as well to see if there's any moisture. No, no moisture issues over here either. Behind the wall, no moisture issues, no problems here. And all the ceilings, I'm, I'm looking at the ceilings as I go through to see if I see any signs of um, any problems from the roof. Um, you see the vaulted ceiling, but there doesn't look to be any problems visible right now. Um, off from the side of the kitchen, if you're coming in from the middle door, there is the kitchen. Um, there's the side bedroom that we just visited, and then there's this hallway on the side of the kitchen that goes out. Uh, it's a good place, good convenient place for the laundry room. Um, and in here, everything looks fresh and clean. Uh, even the valves and everything looks kind of brand new. Uh, so, no signs of any damage here over on the ceilings. 
Uh, let's go to the next room over here, which is the garage. That's right on the off the side of the kitchen, down the hallway from the laundry room. And the garage looks in great condition. It's a pull down attic over here. Uh, and the water heater. The water heater. Does it look like it's a gas water heater or is it electric water heater? It's an electric water heater. Um, looks like there's an extra door and some extra paneling from the work they did. I don't know if that's going to be left here um, or not. And there's a door from the garage that goes outside. Let me just lock this. Okay. Uh, the other good thing about this hallway coming off the kitchen where the laundry room is that has this window right in it so the hallway doesn't get too dark and just beautiful view from the window, privacy and just woods. Uh, the thing that jumped out to me first when I walked over here, walked into the house, after, well, other than the fact that the vaulted ceiling and the open area were these two French doors. Uh, the color is really nice. They're solid wood doors too, and they're not cheap ones. And they basically lead to this, wow, beautiful, I guess, sunroom area, but it's closed in so much that I, I, it could be used as whatever. I think that's probably why uh, on the outside, that area right there, um, where it looked like there was some things missing on it, uh, that's probably why it was done because look this is just a concrete base going out to there but the fact that it has concrete base going out to there um, and this is built out to that it makes me feel a lot more uh, secure about this not having that many issues and just from outside it's basically the water that's been running from the side cleared out the dirt from that area it just needs to be filled in and um, the water needs to be led away from the house instead of coming to the house. But this room is beautiful. Uh, the wood ceiling, wood panel ceiling, beautiful fan. Um, the, the halfway molding uh, coming up all the way, matching the ceiling. And the beautiful molding around the windows. The, the floors, again, are concrete. Uh, so gives you a lot of options. Probably out here, I would say the best thing to do and the cheap thing to do, just tile this place over here um, so it's easier to clean. And uh, just from the outside, treat the issue with, uh, with the termites. But again, these, all of these things are probably figured into the price. We could negotiate more because of these things, but wow, this is, this is really nice. Uh, just, and sitting out here, just look at the view from every window. It's beautiful and peaceful. Um, so if kind of peace and tranquility and good schools and a clean, nice house is the goal, um, this pretty much fits a lot of those criteria. Let me check out the other. Now I'm coming in from the front door to the left of the kitchen. There are actually two rooms over here. Um, one room towards the front of the house. Brand new carpets, brand new paint. Everything looks really nice. Let me show you. I'll go back and show the closet in the first room too. I didn't look at it. This is the closet in this second bedroom to the front. About an average size closet. Uh, this is the typical closet size that comes with this with these kind of extra rooms um, away from the master. Here is the second full bath. Again, nice countertops. Looks like everything is brand new. Uh, this one's a lot better job with all the uh, accessories matching. All the colors match as well as everything being nice and clean. Looks good and then between the front room 
and the bathroom there's this bigger closet on this side and then there's smaller closet on this side so there's a lot of closet space um, they, have, they didn't kill too much of the dead space and uh, this is the back bedroom this is, a, this is probably the smallest bedroom in the house uh, but all of there's a lot of light that comes into the house um, and I think that um, that's uh, that helps make everything else look everything look a lot brighter. The closet in this bedroom it's, about, it's a little bit smaller than the closet in the front bedroom, but the room itself is a little bit smaller. I would say this is a good room for um, an office or a nursery. Um, fan, it's brand new, very clean. Um, so, as far as it being move and ready, um, yeah, I wish my house was this move and ready. <laughs> this it looks it looks beautiful. The house is very clean. This is the other fan, the other room. Just wanted to go back and show, um, but it is. This is the fan coming in the main room. It's brand new, clean. Uh, let's go look at the master closet real quick. Cause we missed that. Okay, nice. The master closet. It's a little bit bigger. Um, if you use those customized closet stuff, you could probably customize this a lot better to get more space. But um, it's still a nice size master closet. I would say it's probably. Five by six or something, five by six or five by seven. Um, one thing I noticed, which is not that big of a deal, because this might be something I want to change later anyway. But right here, it's a dent. But for a foreclosure house, for this to be one of the only issues we see, it's very rare. Uh, this is the fan in the master. This looks a little bit more outdated, or unless this was their taste, but um, but everything still looks very new and very clean and very very moving ready. I think these videos were gave a lot better picture than pictures would. I'm just gonna take a few pictures of uh, some areas and then some of the the roofing areas. But as far as the video goes, I think this is a good job of the inside of the house. And I hope uh, it gives you a good picture of uh, what you're getting if you're looking at this house. Right, this is just a quick overview of.